Okay. Uh, so my name is Miguel. I'm a JavaScript wrang uh, wrangler or engineer at Automatic. And I was coerced into doing this lightning talk. So as a form of revenge, I'm doing uh, Git. And I guess uh, small hacks, tips, uh, shortcuts on just the way we work. Um, uh, in our team. So most of what we do is um, centered around GitHub and based on pull requests. And um, there's lots of collaboration happening um, at once and there's lots of uh, history rewrites uh, because as a, as a pull request grows, we try and uh, compact the history a bit around what makes sense. And uh, obviously we have to rebase things against our master branch so that things are current. So uh, we have to pull changes very often and make sure we're not breaking things for ourselves and for other people. So um, I've had, I have here my, um, my um, git config file and I have a, a ton of aliases and I'm gonna look at one which is up. And uh, if, you, if you don't know about git aliases, they're just a way to uh, either shorten commands or actually redefine things or invoke shell scripts and you can do a ton of things with them. So uh, git up is just the way I update my, my local repo. Um, what it does is instead of doing, so who, who here uses git regularly? Okay, so you might be used to f either fetching manually and then maybe pulling or merging or just uh, going nuts and doing git pull and have the thing try and rebase blindly. So we're trying not to do that because we want to keep up with whatever uh, other people are doing. And so what git up does is it fetches all the, the remote references and then it tries to merge but the, the parameter here that says ff only means fast forward only. So we'll only merge, that is update your local reference if um, whatever has changed on the server is just a linear expansion of your history. That is, nothing is, like, the history hasn't diverged, and it's just a continuation of the history you had locally. And so GitHub will just merge, if it can, it will just say, okay, I fast forward it. And if it doesn't, it just says, uh, yeah, I, I can't. And um, what I do then, and actually I have some examples, I believe, somewhere, uh, yeah, okay, so git up here, right? And it pulls all the references from all the different branches, which we have uh, a lot. And sometimes it will say, let's see, like fast forward here, okay. And then I'm good, but if our history has, has diverged, it will say uh, not possible aborting. So what I usually do is I wanna see how the history changed between my copy and the remote copy. And so I, I um, wrote up this alias that I call div as in the divergence, right? And what it, this does is just show me the last point in the history where my local copy and the remote copy uh, diverged and then the tips of both uh, histories. And what this looks like is something like this. So get div here, right? And the last line here is the last commit that is common to both branches. And then this one is one that uh, came from the server and this is one that I just made up locally. And so this is a really quick way by looking at the summaries to know, okay, so other people on my team worked on say, change push to an assignment, and meanwhile, I was just working on bogus commits. And then that's when I can either decide to just rebase locally as I would, or maybe, yeah, maybe my local commit doesn't apply or I should change it, and then I can decide. And uh, how much time do I have? Uh, 30 seconds. Okay. 30 seconds. Um, so, yeah, and then um, what can I talk about? <sighs> Okay, um, I, just a really simple one, just commit. So I, I, some, some of my aliases are just, you know, shortening things, so instead of typing checkout, just type CO, but commit, I add a parameter which is minus V, 
And just that just make it, makes it so that when I do git ci, instead of just having the, the editor with the, where I type in the, the summary of my changes, I see the, the whole diff of what, of what I am committing. So it's a really quick way to make sure that you're not doing something really stupid by accident. And yeah, just have fun with aliases. There's a ton of things you can optimize and if you work a lot with Git. Thank you very much. Thanks.